Steam. Once a driving cause behind the Industrial Revolution, now best known as one of the largest online marketplaces to purchase video games. Talk about a fall from grace. Of course they sell all the major video game titles and franchises from AAA developers across all genres. And when I say all genres, I mean all genres. Yeah, you read that title right, and what's even crazier is that's the third one in a series. But I'm not here to talk about the side of Steam that will finally make you understand why God gave up on us. And while I am intrigued by the sheer volume of anime boobs disguised as loosely put together puzzle games, I'm really only in search of the truly unique and exotic. So I made it my mission to try to find and play some of the weirdest and most obscure games that Steam has to offer. I'm talking about plotlines that mimic fever dreams, dialogue that talks itself into circles, and characters that were spawned out of a bad acid trip. And boy howdy did I find more than enough. What makes Steam so much more different than other gaming marketplaces like the Microsoft Store, Epic Games, or the PlayStation Store are the incredibly low barriers to entry. For example, if you as an indie developer want to get your game onto the PlayStation Store, first you need to apply to become a partner. That means you send in a little bit of proof of your company, a description of your team, your members, and a background on your studio. But once that gets approved... You still need to send in concept art, prototype builds, b-roll footage, engine design, and video capture of gameplay. But then after that, you're good to go. Ahead and start sending in other targeted platforms, marketing objectives and goals, external supports, detailed plans regarding business models, project schedules, costs, targeted markets and languages, live operations, post-launch support, and after all of that, they can still reject your game just because they don't like you. As for Steam, you just need to sign a few papers, have a pulse, and give them $100. I'm not even joking, I've been looking around to see if there was anything else that I missed, and other than setting up your store page and having your game go through a short review process to make sure that there's nothing in there that could get Steam sued, there really isn't much to it. This let anything through the gates mentality is exactly what led me to my first game that I really want to share with you curious little monsters today. The title is Dinner Date. It's a dating simulator that was published a little over a decade ago, but with a twist. You wait for a date that never shows up. Which makes it not a dating simulator, so I have no idea what this is supposed to be. But with a price point of only $3.99, an almost perfect 50% review, and the system requirements of a 2006 Nokia, I asked myself how could I not afford to experience what is most likely the game of the decade. So without further ado, welcome to Dinner Date. I already hate it. Alright, so this is the main menu. And so far it has been non-stop noises of this guy cooking in his kitchen, I'm assuming. Since I hopped in the game. All right, dinner day. Time to actually get into it. Yeah, I, I really need this date. It's good. And Jerry's going to be angry if I mess it up too, the way he arranged it. Okay, so so far we're just talking about her life. If she doesn't show up. Ten minutes. Dude, it's ten minutes, okay? She's just late by ten minutes. That happens all the time. So basically all of my controls, all I can do is just look around the room at different things. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. We could sip some wine. Everything is so slow in this game. Um, what does Johnson do these days? Just sits at his desk fiddling his iPhone and having trivial conversations with the client I get for him. Yeah, fuck Johnson. Nothing under 120 BPM for pleaser. Uh, I don't mind giving her something over 120 BPM. All right, the innuendos run deep. All right, more bread. Let's just let's just more bread. That's the. I don't want sex with her though. Okay. Of slender legs. I see her cry out with joy. All right, we're horny. Well, fuck Jerry. All right, fuck Johnson, fuck Jerry. We're on the same page. Have another glass. Yeah, yeah, let's get another glass going, my man. All right, there's the option for more wine. I don't think that like me pressing any of the buttons affects how long it takes to get to the next stage. I just don't get what I'm supposed that to be wrong. doing. If I'm supposed to be doing anything. All right, we finally got the soup going. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Mr. Donald doesn't really cut it. He's successful, makes me successful. Why would you put that noise in the game? That'll soon buy me a way out of this house. Oh god, it does it every time. Okay, that's enough soup. I really use it that much. I should just go out with them. Instead of quoting Byron to myself. Get a few drinks down, dance with someone, pull a girl. My dude just seems depressed. Oh, drunk up. After a few drinks, everybody kisses anybody anyway. My man is just hyper-focused on anything sexual. Not much time left if I want to shag her. That is exactly what Jerry's talking about. All that thinking... I should just Wait, I'm not go. pressing anything. Does, does he just move on his own if I don't press anything? I need another glass of wine. What's the point of me being here? Might as well. Okay. All right. More wine. More wine. You can't go wrong with more wine. It's definitely going to lead to positive things. When am I going to have a good relationship? 
relationship again. Just go to bed. Just a shag. Just a hold. He doesn't just want to shag. He wants to hold. And then shag. Oh, pack of smokes. That's a... It's a chalk night. God knows I'm not meeting anyone biking or sitting in the office. A man is Check not in the right state of mind. Just damn. Damn! I can't stand she didn't show up. So much dependent whoa. on it, didn't whoa. it? Whoa, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It happens, bro. Just hop on Tinder. <laughs> Give it a couple hours. We're like getting this Saturday night rocking. Appears her streaming hair. The black curls. Oh, oh come on. It up. Here she is. All right, so we're going out. She's here. But we're, we're back. Okay. Those are the <sighs> nastiest fingers I have ever seen. Fucking neighbors. Damn. Just go search the guys. So we're just we're just we're just going out. We're just going out now. All right. Let's get it. Let's hit the town. All right. The room of view is on point. All right. We're gone. Let's get this night started. Are we gone? Am I, am I supposed to be still looking through his eyes? No, he left, right? I mean, that was the door slamming. That was it? I just sat there and listened to a horny guy bitch about his life for like 30 minutes. All he did was get angry at his job and his co-workers. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I got stood up on a date, I'd be a little angry too. But what? That's not a game. Oh my god. Oh my god. I paid money for that. Oh my god, that's actually it. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're back. It's late at night. We got back from the club. Now what's happening? She's gonna show up now. Or she, we're gonna get like a text or a phone call. Back to day. Back to day. Alright, back to day. Let's do it. Back to day. Alright, we're back in the kitchen. At the table. And nope, that was it. That was it. Oh my god. Okay, we're done. We're done. Okay, so now it's time to hit the reviews and see what other people had to say and then leave one of my own. Alright, most helpful reviews. I'm 42 hours into this game. What? This game legitimately took me like maybe 20 minutes to go through in totality. So how are you 42 hours into the game? George Bossington has 354.9 hours on record. Doing what? He has updated every single time he's played. 247 hours, I reinstalled the game. I lost my save file so I gotta start over. Waited about 8 hours and she still hasn't shown up. 335 hours, maybe she stopped for gas in the gas station. Was I don't, oh my gosh, this is pure insanity. Not recommended, not recommended, not recommended. Hey, recommended, there we go. This game is good if your life sucks like mine. Alright, so we're going to recommend the game, and the only thing we're going to say is, I don't know what happened. Smiley face. And post. Alright, on to the next game. The next game I was able to find is called The Graveyard, which in the Steam store has a description written by the developers that says, The Graveyard is a very short computer game. You play an old lady who visits a graveyard. You walk around, sit on a bench, and listen to a song. It's more like an explorable painting than an actual game. An experiment with poetry and storytelling, but without words. Oh boy. I honestly don't think I've ever been less excited to play a video game. But, with a price point of $4.99 and the system requirements of only a Tamagotchi, what do I have to lose? Well, I guess $4.99, but that's not what I'm trying to get- Okay, welcome to the graveyard. It's just a graveyard, it, that's it. It's just a oh, the grave. there you go, it's the graveyard, alright. Um, I'm assuming WASD to walk around? Can, can I go sideways? Oh, no, okay, the game doesn't like that. Okay, we're gonna- we're gonna go back to the main path. Is this- is this actually it? Still walking. Still walking. This is brutal. Okay, I, I assume I'm going to the bench. Can I- can I sit on the bench? Can I interact? No? Alright, we're gonna keep on walking then. We'll keep- keep on going. It kind of feels like I'm supposed to be on the bench. It's zooming out again, so I feel like I'm going towards the wrong direction. I'm scared to no longer be able to see her, because then I won't know how to turn around. Okay, I, I'm going back to the bench. I think it's the bench. I have to go there, right? Moving at the speed of lightning. Maybe if I turn around. Maybe if I give it a full 180, it'll give me the option to sit. Okay, now it's time to just hit random keys and see if anything else works. Oh, we sat. I don't know what I pressed. Okay, so we got a little bit of music going. It's not good. Bars. Bars. 
the pebbles, kale sky. Okay, so it's a song about cleaning gravestones. This song is entirely too long. Oh, it's still going. Okay, I'm kind of back into it now. It's, it's, it's coming back now. Wait, did I die? Um, wait, what do I do now? Okay, I am trying every key and nothing is waking her up. Nothing, nothing is doing anything. I think she's dead. Okay, I'm gonna let this run for a bit just to see if anything happens, okay? All right, so we just came back after about a five minute wait and we're still dead. Oh wait, instructions. You walk with her to the bench in front of the chapel. You turn her around and let her sit down. She looks backwards to the bench and when she's ready to sit, she sits. When you are done, you walk with her back to the gate and you both leave the graveyard to quit the game. I'm pressing every button and she's not getting up, so I'm 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 just going to leave the game. Okay, time to leave a review real quick. But first, let's check out what other people had to say. Better than bad rats. I've never played that, but I might have to try. And 17,500 hours on record. I just did the math on that. Uh, that comes out to almost two years. If anybody knows who Fun Size Clown is, can you please check in on them and make sure they're okay? All right, time to leave my own review. The bench was so comfy, I died. Smiley face. And post. Would I recommend it? <laughs> no. All right, now it's time to switch things up, because while the graveyard had absolutely zero mechanics, this next game is supposed to have too many. And they're all broken. And you die a lot. The game is called Only If, and it's described as a surreal first-person adventure puzzle game. It takes idiom into reality. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I also wasn't too sure if this is one of the games I actually wanted to play for this video, but I kind of cheated and read one of the Steam reviews prior, and it solidified my decision. I want to recommend this game, but it's a buggy mess with broken achievements that require file verification two or three times per level, and may the gods above help you if you choose the Black Pawn Path first. That seems to screw up the game completely. You know where this is headed. Alright, click to start. Wow. I never thought the party would be this big. Alright, we're partying to start it off, and it's the next morning. Where am I? You awake in a stranger's bedroom. Um. Interesting interior decorating skills, but you know what? To each their own. I kinda dig it, right? Door. What just happened? Oh, Jesus, what? Stop, 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 stop. Come on, just open the door. You know, I would like to play the guessing game, but that game is a little bit overrated. Am I just I, I in the I'll sky? The wait, 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 wait. You know what? I don't want to hear it. Wow, okay, fine. But if you want to get out of here alive, you're going to trust me. Okay? Okay. Gotcha. Let's start with you moving over to that mirror. Where? Start looking for it! Okay. Okay. No, Sorry, wait, 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 where's the mirror? I, I don't... This game is gonna give me an anxiety attack. There is no mirror. Where are you? This is just, this is just a bad experience. Use that key over there. Key? Get it, and get out of here. What key? You see that clock behind you? There's no hands on the clock. Uh, key, 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 key. Where the fuck is the key? There's no key. There's no key. There's no key. There's no key. What? 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 No, 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 no. I've got time. I've got time. Did I die? All right, all right. You see that key over there? Get it and get out of here. I died. What? Where's the key? Oh my god. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know where the key is. I don't know what I'm supposed to be. Oh, wait, wait, what? It wasn't here earlier. I don't like this. Okay, new room. I was trying to decide whether you're gonna go for the big dick or small dick ending, Anthony. Well, you know what the comments said. Okay, there we go. Oh, Jesus. 
The tiny key compliments your tiny dick quite well, don't you hey. think? Hey. He's accurate. Hey, Anthony. I hope you're proud of your decision. The least of my cares, I hope you rot in hell for the things you've done to me. <gasps> <gasps> Did she get stabbed? Little girl. Daughter? What's happening? Am I just in a grave? Wait, wait, wait. I can't look around. Why? Okay, okay. Did I get, make it out? Swim, 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 swim. It's not bad enough that I got stabbed, I got hit by a flaming windmill too. I'm, I'm good to walk. Wait, what's this? What's this? Chessboard. Can I play some piece? There we go. I think I was supposed to do that. Press space, press space, press space. Stay awake, stay awake, stay awake, stay awake. I'm really hoping this was the way I'm supposed to go, or else I gotta turn around and crawl the other direction. Come on. Just, just no, 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 don't pass out. Okay, we're up, we're standing. No, 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 no. Don't black out, don't black out, don't black out, don't black out. What? I died. How did I die? They were not joking when they said you die really easy in this game. Is that a house? I could use some help out here. Anybody? Any no? Okay. And we're dead again. Oh my god. Doors appearing out of nowhere. Houses I'm supposed to somehow make it through. Oh, a light. Oh, I don't like this. Insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Alright. Heh. <laughs> I didn't die. What's the use of this? Ah, it's... Ever tried, ever failed. No matter, try again, fail again, fail better. Vinti, enoti, inverso. Anyone speak Spanish? Whoa. 2060. There we go. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing in there. Am I crazy? Maybe it opened something. Yes. Okay, let's go. Oh god, oh, the music again. What is happening? Ah! This game is stressing me out so bad. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. It's just a game. It's just a game. You've died like 19 times, but it's just a game. I'm alive. I can't even see anything. Ah! Flip it on, don't get shot. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's- I got you! Please don't- I died again. Alright, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. This game- this game has broke me. Just mentally. I- I don't even know what to do anymore. I don't even know what to- I'm done. I'm done. Alright, I quit. Call me whatever you want, but after 40 minutes of playing that game, I had like nine anxiety attacks and still had no idea what was happening. The whole thing just felt like a bad dream, except you died. Over and over and over again. So I figured it's time to leave our review. Would I recommend this game? Yes. I had no idea what was happening the entire time. And now I need to go take my blood pressure medication. Smiley face. And post. Sometimes, to deal with the difficulty of being alive, I need to believe that there's a possibility that life is not real is the next game I'm going to be playing. And yes, that is the full title. In addition to having what is most likely the longest title of any Steam game available, the developer also published a 100-page guidebook, which of course I downloaded and proceeded to skim through. I mean, come on, 100 pages? I don't have time for that. The game is self-described as a video experience, a simulation, a game that plays itself, a database of games, an absurdist, sci-fi play, emails going to nowhere, conversation starters, meditation, secret layers, fights, breakdancing, and more. But I already think they summed it up with what the main title was trying to convey, which is an existential crisis. Sometimes to deal with the... Oh, that's just the title. I thought they were trying to tell me something. Single player it is. Okay, I appear to be a blow-up doll. 
Regular movement so far, I like that. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Don't, nope, 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 turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. It's just a head in a box. A man is so anxious, he can't stop grinding his teeth. He grinds them so hard, they start to break. This makes him even more nervous, and he starts to grind the broken teeth into his gums as he gurgles while his mouth is dripping blood. Wh what? Would you like to play the Founders now? I, these aren't options. I, I, okay, the Founders, I don't, I didn't have enough time to read it. Suddenly, you find your consciousness far away from your brain. Okay, 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 next one, next one. No, okay, not the next one. The more they try to make sense, the less Why do the pencils have feet? The no, just let me out, just let me out, just let me out. Okay. If you want your body back, Stop you it. Oh, just run, 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 just run. What's the objective? Okay, maybe I need to click on it. Hey, the tick, tick, tick. I need the tick, tick, tick. Oh god, I'm in his fucking mouth. Okay, okay, okay. Low lecka tick the. Help me. Jesus Christ, what? Please help me. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, yep. Low lek a tick the T. Okay, I'm missing one. I'm missing one. Say it. Low like a tick T urn. Say it three times. Low like a tick the T urn. Say Low it like a tick the T urn. Low like a tick the T urn. Low like a tick the T urn. Please, God, just let me out. What the fuck was that? Blim. Okay. Walking simulator. Leave idle. And Pizza will walk and fly by himself. There is nothing more hilarious than the urgent care waiting room at a hospital. Dozen of sick and caretakers and sick just waiting around trapped inside of their own nightmares. Dude, I'm trapped inside of my own nightmare. Okay, it's a house. It's a house. Take a shower in the infinitude of your dead bodies. Let them fall over you and smack you in the face. You have been here thousands of times. All the injustice, all the... <laughs> what the... F no, 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 no. Nope, 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 I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I think I'm gonna just be done. I'm gonna take it easy and maybe play something, something relaxing and fun. It has like a, a, a good lighthearted message behind it. And add to cart. What? Don't judge me.